It is 2004 and the Harry Potter series enters its third installment of the franchise with Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The film opens up with Harry Potter who is the actor Daniel Radcliffe in his room practicing a spell. From time to time his uncle Vernon who is Richard Griffiths in real life opens a door and tries to catch Harry in a game of cat and mouse. Quickly, other members of the family are introduced, like Aunt Marge, who is the actress Pam Ferris, Aunt Petunia, who is Fiona Shaw, and Dudley Dursley, who is Harry Melling. It would be right after dinner that everything will shift gears as Aunt Marge begins to disrespect Harry's family. This will end with Aunt Marge ballooning, flying away, and Harry gathering his things to make a quick exit. Now out and about, Harry will get a surprise from a shadowy figure and from a majestic triple decker bus. The night bus is a service to help out any stranded wizard or witch, and the three individuals that are operating the bus is Stan Shunpike, who is Lee Ingleby, a shrunken head who is voiced by Lenny Henry, and behind the wheel is Ernie the bus driver, who is the legendary Jimmy Gardner. During this scene, we will be introduced to an escaped prisoner from Azkaban, Sirius Black, who is the awesome Gary Oldman. One wild ride to London later, we find our main protagonist at the Leaky Cauldron. Inside will be Tom the Innkeeper, who is Jim Tavare in real life. Also, there is Cornelius Fudge, who is played by Robert Hardy. He is from the Ministry of Magic and quickly talks to Harry about his Aunt Marge before giving him a little heads up to stay alert for Sirius Black. Downstairs, Harry finds a positive surprise as his best friends are arguing with one another. Ron Weasley, who is portrayed by Rupert Grint, and Hermione Granger, who is the talented Emma Watson. Shortly after, the rest of the Weasley family emerges. Both George and Fred Weasley make an appearance, who is actors Oliver and James Phelps, Mrs. Weasley, who is Julia Walters, and Mr. Weasley, Mark Williams. Finally, the last two members Percy and Ginny Weasley, who is Chris Ranking and Bonnie Wright. All the students board the Hogwarts Express and it would be mid-trip when things get a little spooky. The train stops and the lights go out. An ominous feeling comes over the main characters as the windows begin to frost. From the shadows comes a Dementor, a foul creature that guards Azkaban. It feeds off emotions, leaving dread behind. It attacks Harry, causing him to black out. Professor Lupin, who is the actor David Thwellis, awakes and forces the Dementor to retreat. Back at Hogwarts, these students are entertained by a choir who is conducted by a noble wizard who is Warwick Davis in real life. We the audience get introduced to the headmaster Albus Dumbledore who is portrayed by Michael Gambon. Other notable professors at attendance is Professor Snape who is Alan Rickman, Professor McGonagall who is Maggie Smith, Hagrid who is Robbie Coltrane. Other notable characters are also Draco Malfoy who is Tom Felton with his friends, Gregory Goyle, Josh Herdman, and a Slytherin boy, Bronson Webb. Classes begin at Hogwarts and we the audience are introduced to new professors. First there is Professor Trelawney who is portrayed by Emma Thompson. She teaches the students divination, producing a scary warning to Harry because of the symbol of the Grimm in his tea leaves. Another new professor is longtime friend Hagrid, who will teach these students how to take care of magical creatures. Unfortunately, his new position will be met with hardship when a hippogriff nicknamed Buckbeak pounces on Draco Malfoy. We are reintroduced to Professor Lupin, who is the new Defense Against the Dark Arts instructor. He will have the class face their fears in order to overcome the emotion. During class, we are shown that Harry's worst fear at the moment is the Dementors, but more interestingly, we are shown that Professor Lupin's worst fear is a full moon. More on this a bit later. A few days later, things will turn to the worst when the fat lady in the painting, who is actress Dawn French, goes missing. Only a few claw marks are left behind. When she is found, she reveals that the escaped prisoner, Sirius Black, is indeed in Hogwarts, resulting in an immediate lockdown of Hogwarts, with Dementors placed around the perimeters. 
During Quidditch, a group of these Dementors will attack Harry, causing him to pass out and destroying his loyal Nimbus 2000. Afterwards, Harry would seek help from Professor Lupin to hopefully be able to fight back against the Dementors. But the time isn't right. This will have to wait. During winter, everything will change when Harry attempts to escape Hogwarts with his invisibility cloak to visit the nearby town of Hogsmeade. He is quickly stopped by George and Fred who help Harry out by giving him the Marauder's Map, an enchanted map that tells you where everyone is. With this in his disposal, he makes his way to the town and into a pub where he overhears the staff discuss Sirius Black. It is at this moment Harry discovers that Sirius is his godfather. In shock, Harry retreats and informs Ron and Hermione of what he just heard. The Patronus Charm is a spell that requires an extremely positive memory to be able to push back the ultimate dread of the Dementors. It is not easy to chant and is said that only powerful wizards and witches can do it. And with much determination, Harry is able to do it. At this point of the film, we will begin to enter the second phase of the plot. Late at night, Harry is looking at the Marauder's map when he sees the name Peter Pettigrew, an individual that is supposed to be dead. While looking for him, Harry comes across Professor Snape, but luckily is saved by Professor Lupin. Lupin holds onto the map and before Harry retreats back to bed, tells Lupin about Peter. Our three main characters visit Hagrid at his home to comfort him. Due to the negative interaction between the Hippogriff and Draco Malfoy, the school board has voted to put down Buckbeak. Only a quick conversation later, Ron, Hermione, and Harry have to leave because of an approaching Albus Dumbledore, Cornelius Fudge, and an executioner who is portrayed by Peter Best. Right after, the three are quickly attacked by what Ron calls the Grim, a very dark large dog. The dog drags Ron down beneath the Whomping Willow. Harry and Hermione also make their way down the hole. They all eventually make their way to the Shrieking Shack, where the black dog has transformed into Sirius Black. Professor Lupin also appears, and it is revealed that Scabbers, Ron's pet rat, is actually Peter Pettigrew. Peter is the one who betrayed James and Lily Potter many years ago to Lord Voldemort. After incapacitating Professor Snape, the group makes their way to the surface where Professor Lupin is faced with a full moon. He is then violently transformed into a werewolf. During the confusion, Peter Pettigrew escapes and Sirius Black is hurt while fighting back against Lupin. Harry and Sirius find themselves near a lake, with several Dementors approaching. Before they can kill Sirius, a majestic white stag appears and forces the Dementors to retreat. The three then awaken back at Hogwarts. Albus informs them that Sirius has been apprehended. He then tells Hermione that they need the time travel back in time to prevent the capture. Be quick and don't let anyone see you. The final sequences of the film will involve Harry and Hermione retracing their steps to assure that everything turns out okay. Their first stop will be at Hagrid's. During this stop, they manage to save Buckbeak from being executed. Next, the duo wait near the Whomping Willow, and it is revealed that it was actually them that helped keep the werewolf distracted and produce the majestic stag that kept the Dementors away. At the end, Sirius is rescued and assures Harry that he will be a part of his life. He then flies away on Buckbeak. Next, Harry says his goodbyes to Professor Lupin and thanks him for all that he has taught him. The day will end with a gift for Harry, which is a new firebolt broom, and attached to the gift is a feather from Buckbeak. And so, the film ends. Just want to quickly wish everyone some love and much thanks for helping hit 30 subscribers. It has been a wild journey in 2020 and everyone has made it so much better. Thanks again and much love.